There are lots of steps needed to get better at Smash, but getting rid of bad habits is a big one, and pretty straightforward too. Through my coaching sessions, I've noticed some habits that many players all have. I'm G5Cosmos for Game 5 Smash, and these are my top 5 habits and how to fix them. Jumping is a pretty general term, and there are lots of situations where jump habits occur. Most commonly, players will jump when hit off stage or above the opponent. Don't jump in these situations. You're almost always better off just drifting back and recovering low, only using your jump when you need it. And if you're above the stage, consider using an attack or neutral air dodge to avoid the opponent if they're catching your jumps. Jumps are also really common actions out of shield and in the corner. Rolling away is often a great response after someone hits your shield, and if you feel like another attack is coming, you can continue holding shield or even go for a parry. In the corner, you can take your time and look for an opportunity to move forward or mix up between jumping, rolling, and attacking. Snowballing is the term I like to use for the next habit. Lots of players will mash a particular option after throwing out an attack, usually a landing aerial. For example, doing landing aerials into tilts or spot dodge. Try to truly decide each option you choose when breaking this habit. Whenever you do something, ask yourself, what should I do next? Alternatively, you can simply do nothing and wait after attacking and learn from the result. Rolling is probably the most commonly mentioned habit, but there are good times to roll too. Bad rolls usually happen when the opponent is approaching and a player rolls away every time to retreat, or as the default out of shield option a player chooses even when the opponent hasn't hit their shield. Try to incorporate drop shield to dash more often, and don't feel forced to go for an out of shield option every time you're shielding in general. Directional air dodging can get you out of combos, but it's very reactable and has tons of lag, even when landing. Most of the time going for neutral air dodge is a better option to escape combos, but if you air dodge every time in the same situation, you'll get punished for sure. It isn't good to always go for any ledge option every time, but getup attack from ledge is almost always a bad option and should be only used for very specific reasons or as a desperate mix-up. If you really want to be aggressive from ledge, consider a double jump aerial instead, but otherwise mix up your ledge options more and only use getup attack if your opponent is in a long animation or about to land right in its range. If you'd like me to take a look at your personal habits, you can contact me for private coaching to up your game. You can also tune into my stream at twitch.tv slash game5smash to ask Smash questions and check out other cool games currently streaming Fire Emblem Three Houses. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to Game 5 Smash and click the bell for more tech and tips.